Hi guys, it's Strange Prisoir Things and today I have a massive collective haul for you. Um, I have some things from my holiday to show you and a big collective haul of things that I've bought for my new college course which I thought you may be interested in, um, which I'll leave kind of towards the end just in case you're not interested. Um, a couple of things which I've bought uh, anyway and there's a lot of things that I can't show you right now because I've very quickly put this video together. Some stuff is downstairs and I really don't have time to go and get it um, and I'm going to save it for my next video because I have some things in the post like arriving like my glossy box and some my label stuff etc. So I'm just going to get on with it. First of all I'm going to do what I got on my holidays. So first of all I'm going to show you something that I got last, last no, last time I went to Greece, so not this time, the last time, because um, I don't think I had a channel then, so, and they're still in the packet, so I thought I'd show you. But, uh, it's those two little um, voodoo dolls, and the first one is this one. It's got little glasses and a little heart, and it says on the, um, it's like a little card for each one of who it is. And this one is the College Outstanding Student, and you can pause that if you want to read it. So it looks like this, little voodoo doll, and it's like a little charm, you can put it on your phone if you want, or um, you can just use it on your keys, and it looks like this. And then the next one, both of these were bought for me by my then boyfriend who I went on holiday with, um, the next one is... Um, got a strange name but it looks like this and it's got two little pins in its heart and I think these come out yeah they do they're actual real pins so I probably would take those out before I like used it because oh it came out the other side ah uh, because obviously they're sharp and kind of dangerous so it looks like this and this is the card if you want to pause it and read it So that's that. And what's in here? That's not from Greece. Okay, so next thing is these two products. So you've got and a touch of pink. They are fake. Um, I'm just gonna get that out of the way, although you can probably already tell from the packaging, they are fakes. Um they were three euros each. I got this one first because um, I've just had the tester of this that I like ordered from their website and I really liked it and I thought it's probably not going to smell the same but um, I'll try it because with some testers and it smelled pretty similar. I couldn't exactly remember what it smelled like. It lasts, like these scents are so strong it's insane like you need to spray a little bit and you can smell it a mile off. Um, so I sprayed it on this morning I've used this one. So the boxes I think are really really good um, like for what they're supposed to look like. This one especially I think this is really cute. Obviously the bottles are let down um, because they look nothing like the uh, bottles. So this is the touch of pink bottle and it doesn't have any information on it or anything. Um, so strong. You can tell it's very alcoholy vinegary based it smells pretty vinegar vinegary it smells kind of like um you know when they do those little kids perfumes it smells like those but they still smell really nice and i think this one i don't think it smells like the original obviously because they are fakes but they they do smell pretty they smell nice anyway so i'm still gonna wear them and since they were three euros each i can be like look what i've got so I really really like this one. This one I think the bottle is a real letdown because obviously you know what the bottle looks like. It's so cute. It's like a square with like a little bow on. Um, but this looks nothing like the original. That's kind of more like it. That's um, 100 millilitres and this one is 60 millilitres. Um, the bottle for this is just insane. So it looks like this. It says Miss Dior Sherry and it's very pink, you can see it's pink um, and it's got this really weird lid which I really don't like, um, but yeah. I 
guys. So it's actually really, really, really nice, the smell. I think I'm going to go into a perfume shop and like take this lid with me and see if they smell the same because it smells so nice. This one is not like childlike perfumey. It smells like a grown up perfume and it's really, really, really nice. Um, for, for three euros, this is just really, really nice, fake, but lovely perfume. And I'm really happy that I got these two because obviously they're amazing. And then, do you recognize this? No? Sephora. So, my mum and my sister had no idea what I was signing out when I was like this. Sephora. So we went to Rhodes Town and I had no idea that there was a Sephora there. Um, I, knew this, I know there's one in France and obviously they're in America but I had no idea there was one in Rhodes and it was right where we got off the bus and I was like what? I couldn't even comprehend that there was a Sephora because it's like olden town shops and then there was a Sephora there and I was like mom we have to go in there you don't know why but we do so we went in and obviously I couldn't afford anything because um, it was Sephora and I had like 12 euros in my pocket so we went to the sale section and I got something which I didn't I've never even heard of the make so it's not like crazy crazy <laughs> crazy um and it's called crazy priorities and it's a metallic dust and on there it's like a little silver I really really wanted this silver one they had uh, this light this is a light pink I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell really it's a light pink and it's in the colour 186. They had this one and a like pure glittery silver. And they were both 1 euro 82 down from about 12 euros. Hello. Um oh sorry, 8 euros. Um and I really, really wanted this silver one. So I took them both to the tail. I was gonna get them both. And she went, the silver one's actually four euros. I was like, no, because they both had a sticker on that said the same price. And I was like, mm. so I just got the pink one. So it looks like this. And she didn't give me a bag. She did not give me a bag, but she gave my sister a bag because my sister bought a sil uh, purple one of these. So I was like, Daniela, can I have your bag? Because I need to show my subbies. So I'm keeping this bag and that's mine product I can actually show you because my sister got one as well it's the same price yes 183 well in Greek obviously um and then it's a Sephora um so yeah that was like amazing um and then I in Lindos, if you've ever been to Lindos, comment below because Lindos is, I love Lindos. Um, I am obsessed with dream catchers and I got this gorgeous, gorgeous dream catcher. I don't know if you can see, I've got about four dream catchers like above my bed here and I got this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It was 12 euros and it looks like this. Oh, it's tangled. One second, there we go, looks like this. So it's lime green and it's beaded all the way around and it has this gorgeous little silver jemmy in the middle and then it's got a little green one with the these gorgeous green um, feathers on and then a bigger one in the middle with a little one hanging off that and then a small one on this side as well. And I love it so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. And oh my god, I love dream catchers. Um, I'm thinking of getting a dream catcher tattoo, possibly when I'm older and have money. And I've really, really thought about what I want because obviously I don't want to get something and then be like, no, I hate it. Um, so yeah. Quickly moving on, I went to a shop that was called Cartoon in Rhodes, and um. They sold Hello Kitty things in there. So I got two things. One thing I have a cup of tea in downstairs, you can guess it's a mug. Um, so I'll maybe take a picture of that, but I probably can't be asked. It's basically a, a pink mug with Hello Kitty on one side and on the other side it's got like cupcakes and things like that. And it says Hello Kitty. And I also got all these Hello Kitty stickers. 
even the bit that says Hello Kitty sticker is a sticker. They're all stickers and they all have little glittery patches on, like this, and a little bow there, and her bow, and um, the flower, and the bow, and the bow, and the flower, etc. And then there's these tiny little ones here that still have glitter on as well. So cute. And these were €1.50, which I think is insane. And I absolutely love these. They're so cute. Um, and the mug was €4.90. Euros and then I got two tattoos because I really wanted a henna tattoo. But they were €15 Euros each. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to. It's not worth it. So I got some temporary tattoos because that's how cool I am. I, I already used one and I'll insert a picture of me wearing it now. I loved that one, it was like wings. And then I got this one, which I was gonna use around my ankle, but I never got around to, and it's like celtic -y with a star in the middle. So I was gonna put that around my ankle. I don't know when I'm gonna use this now, because you can't really use temporary tattoos when you're 18 in England, because you'll get ripped for it, but um, yeah. So that was everything I got in Greece-ish. There's some other things, but I can't be bothered to show you. Um, some things that I got anyway in England are this Passion Peel Off Pomegranate Pulp Brand Passion Flower and it's a peel off one and yeah, just got it. Uh, it's got vitamin E, antioxidants, help pores, deep clean, etc. Peel it off, I thought I'd use that the day before I start college. Um, and then I got some more T-zone wipes. I absolutely love T-zone wipes. Oh, they're the best wipes in the world. They smell so good and they really, really do help with breakouts. It does say it prevents um, breakouts, etc. And they really work. And these come in a double pack from Home Bargains. And you can also get them from B&M. Really cheap and absolutely love these. And then another thing which I got is this. And I really wanted the white one, but they didn't have any left, so I got the purple one. And mum said I could spray, spray it white, because when we move house and I have a room of my own, I don't really want purple to be one of the accent colours in my room. I'd rather it be white, but um, we'll see. So I've wanted one for ages, but this one's on sale, and it was half price for £2.49. So it's a letter holder, and I'm going to put my um, palettes in here, like my sleep palettes, because my eyeshadow drawers just got so like full um, and then my NYX palette won't fit in here but I can put in my Fraulein 38 palette etc and keep everything out of the way and I'm going to put this on the dressing table. So now I'm on to my college kind of section. Um, you can just kind of watch for a little bit to see if you're interested and then click off if you want. So if you're going to go now then bye. Uh, but if you're kind of interested, still interested then I'd love it if you carried on watching. Um, first of all are uh, I like notebooks because I'm obsessed with notebooks. So this one is like a patchwork design and it says uh, 2011 slash 2012 and I won't show you the first page because it has, I don't think I wrote my address on it in case. Yes I did, how stupid of me. So I wrote my address down there but um, yeah just in case anybody, like if I lose it people can show me and then it's got my college I'm going to and then it's got like details in case um, her or something and then it's got these pages for timetables so I can write my timetable in there when I get that and then it's got like all these religious uh, religious festivals notable dates sunrise sunset metric conversion tables conversion factors travel information international information London attractions UK attractions most popular UK visitor attractions the UK motorways deadline and exam pages so I can write my exams hello I'm just filming a video and then it's got all the dates uh, one per page so it starts on July 1st 2011 and it ends on the 31st of August 2012 so that's ages away and I'll have finished college by then so this is like my whole college career down in a book and then it's got a fast forward bit so you can just put each month if you still need it for the for the rest of 2012 um, and 2013 
and it's got address book pages if you're going to write down anything, anybody's addresses and mobile numbers, note pages and then as usual randomly a map of the underground, I don't know why because I don't live in London, love it, love it, love it and this was $9.99 from WH Smiths. got this set of three black ballpoint pens cheetah um zebra and tiger i just want to say that um my college sent me a massive list of things i need to buy and have to buy for my course so most of these things we had to buy didn't really have a choice about it and it was quite expensive so my parents kind of slid it and etc so black ballpoint pens i got two notebooks i got a mini one and it's glittery and it's got butterflies all over it and it actually has really nice like quality like stuff in and then it's just um, lined paper and these were from Tesco and I got a bigger one as well so I got a big one and a small one and this one I think was 218 ish and this one was about 186 ish I'm just guessing because I took the thing off um, so just lined paper for me to write in this wasn't on the list but this was on sale in Hobbycraft and I decided to get it it's 99p <coughs> <coughs> and it's printed felt so you've got two cheetah, two tiger and two zebra and I thought I might use these on some bags for basement boutique or make a t-shirt etc so you might see those coming up some cheap hairspray because I had to use it for fixative for my art course um, so this is just really cheap hairspray it says I needed black, blue and red um, ballpoint pens so I've got some of them um, Everything we bought was basically either from Hobbycraft or Tesco or the market. Two rolls of one inch masking tape. Some scalpel pen things, what they're called. Retractable something with a retractable razor knife set. So I've got a small one, medium and a large one. This was like 2 99 which I thought was quite cheap for blades. Um, so yeah. It said I needed felt tip pens, which I hate using. I hate felt tip pens. I just, I just hate them. Um, and these were like 170 from Hobbycraft. Got a range of colours. Um, said I needed a plastic palette, so I got one of these. This was like 180 from Hobbycraft. Needed a prick stick, got a prick stick, and you can win a Mr. Prick Cuddly Toy because who wouldn't want a Mr. Prick Cuddly Toy? I also needed some um, professional brushes. Um, these are for acrylics, waterproof, and temperas. Um, not for oil, but I'm not totally sure if I'm going to be using oil paint, so that was okay. And if you cut across the top here, then you've got a makeshift um, case. It just say free brush pouch. So you just cut this off, and then this is the pouch. And these are the brushes that are inside. So you've got a round one, a shader one, a filbert, an angular, a comb. A glaze, a detail, fan, and a mop. Um, wait, wait, I just totally said the wrong thing. They are not what is in here, these are the ones that they do. <laughs> these are the ones that are in here. Um, I was just thinking, wait, there's no mop in here, there's no mop. Um, yeah, we got um, a shader in a two, a six, and ten, a round in a one, a three, and a five, a detail, and a flat. And then it also needed some pencils. I had to have a HB, um, a 2B, a 4B, a 6B and an 8B. So I got these. Pencils are surprisingly expensive. Yeah, so shading pencils. 
I need two permanent pens, one in medium and one in fine. Let's hope that's not my thumbnail. Um, uh, so they're just for film, glass, metal, etc. And they're refillable, I did not know that. Moving on. I also needed green biro pencils. When does anybody use green? I don't know, but I needed those, they were on the list. I also needed a um, 12 inch steel ruler. And we got one with the finger guard in case you're using a scalpel so I don't cut my fingers off. Um, and this was about 2 99 I think. I also needed some soft um, chalk pastels, not oil, um, and we got the round ones because I detest square oils, square oils, square pastels, so it looked like this, and these are the colours, and they were expensive as well. And then last thing in the bag is some colour pencils, and oh my god, it, like quality colour pencils are expensive so I've got these they come in at their own case and they're academy you get 12 so these are the colours so yeah um, that's all I have to show you right now um, I'm off to make a cake and um, I hope this video was interesting just a um, leave comments below, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Totally forgot I got this in Rhodes, uh, in Lindos, and it's like a light green, and then it's got this little silver bow. And on the back of it, it says... Seven bis. I have no idea what that means. Um, it's not real silver because otherwise it would say nine two five on the back, but it doesn't. So yeah, and it's got these little knots so you can pull it tighter and it's elasticated. And it was eight euros, and it's from the kids section. I love it. Bye.